What's up guys, it's your boy Ruin. We are back for another Trails of Cold Steel video. So in the last one, SNV fired off the railway guns, the railway cannons, the Russia hose over at the World uh, Trade Conference over at Crossbell. However, they were blanks, so there's nothing to worry about. And then we worked our way through the rest of the fortress and now we are about to confront them. So let's just get right into the, this video, let's get it. But before we go through this door, real quick, I actually did make up my mind. And I'm actually going to take out Evergreen. This may get Sarah killed here. Because I don't know what's going to side effects are going to be inflicted. But uh, I think being able to store this in my bag moving forward. Having two Evergreens is a little bit valuable for me. Considering that I reset all my items. So I don't only have one Evergreen. You know what I mean? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to remove it. At least she's talking to Nightheart. Yeah, I believe she's talking to Nightheart there. Alright, this is it. Time to time to solidify your souls. Alright, I believe that's what the term translation is. I'm mean, probably incorrect there. Alright, let's get this heal in. I didn't use any heals over at Guerrilla Fortress, so this is the first one. Our one and only one. What am I talking about? So yeah, I gave Sarah like some trash equips. No stat buffing, just pure status element resistance. So that way, we can just lose it. You know, it's not that going to be that big a deal. Alright, let's do this. We are reaching the, the final part of Chapter 5. This is it right here. The finale of Chapter 5, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get into this thing. There it is, right up and close. Look how big that is, man. Look at that scaling. Look at the scaling on that Resha Ho. That's insane. It's huge. It's massive. And they tend to turn this on a city full of hundreds of thousands of innocent people, including Risha and Ellie. Not a chance. I will not let you. I will not let you. No way in hell. Who the hell are we? Who the hell are we? Our name's Class 7, Thor's Military Academy. Thor's Ganga Queen, Nanakami. All right? Don't mess with me. Let's get this. We're about to body you. Easily, stupid terrorist. You think you can stop me? Let's go, easy money. Easy money. Easy money. We take him down as quickly as possible. Let's eat. dude, you're gonna destroy them. These are just normal civilians right here. Normal civilians. They cannot stand up to me. Okay, although that's a lot of delay. That is a lot of delay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Speed up button, because I'm not worried even in the slightest. Flare bomb? Ooh, look at Emma with the AoE range. And she's going to get it off before they can attack. Beautiful. Motivate. Remember, we got domination now. We have got domination now. So this is going to do some damage right here. I'm actually going to do this. Oh, come on. Laura, there we go. <laughs> Dude, Laura's damage is nuts. Laura's damage was insane. She even fainted two of them. Are you kidding me? You're actually kidding me. Dude, Laura, you need to chill, girl. You need to chill. You're done. You're done. Get out of here. It's over for you. So I, I gave Sarah resist faint and resist confuse. No, resist confuse. Resist faint and resist sleep. I figured those would be some pretty good ones. Get all three. Yeah. This will give him some CP back. Major CP back. That's about 40 CP right there because he got the double kill. You're stunned, so I'm not worried. You're done. Oh, yeah, you're done. You're done. Get out of here. Dude, Noble Command with and Motivate, either or, with Laura now is going to be powerful. In the beginning of the game, start a turn game, early game, rather. If y'all can't tell, I'm a little bit hyped for this because I, really uh, I really enjoy the parts of, of that are going to move me forward right now. A lot of excitement going on in these recent videos. Easily. Dude, Sarah's level 55. I didn't even peep that till right now. Alright, that was just a warm-up. That was just a warm-up. Uh No. What do you mean? What do you mean? Is it the first time you crossed with the swords with the Imperial Liberation Front? We literally, we, 
Well, we didn't directly fight them, but we basically fought against Gideon, technically, right? We took on his flutes. That's more powerful than anything that he could have done personally. Their obstinance, like a certain other group. It's for revenge. It's for Fukushu. Alright, they're Fukushushas. And there she is. There she is. S. Comrade S with her insane sword that can extend. It reminds me of a... Uh, Dang, I can't remember the character, but isn't there a character in um, Soul Calibur? Uh, Soul Calibur. If any of you are watching this that are Soul Calibur fans, let me know who I'm thinking of right here. But I do believe there's a person that has a weapon that like extends like that, right? That has like that sort of like it comes out of its shape and it goes out and it comes back. Oh, I also like similar to Renji, Abara Renji's kind of like style of uh, fighting with the uh, Zabimaru. It would have been smarter to stay away, S. I don't think that's what he said, but okay. <laughs> the theme song is so good. Dude, the Imperial Liberation Front theme song is so freaking good, man. Oh, you gotta love Scarlet, man. Okay, that's good. I'm, my, my face cam isn't blocking the view for y'all. <laughs> now, where is your leader? Where is C yet? Remember at the beginning of this chapter, over by the Lunaria Painted Park when they met up, G Gideon was already ready to sacrifice his life. So that was basically set in stone. We already knew that was about to happen. But that's how much he wants his revenge against um, the Chancellor. That's how deep-rooted their, um, their, their, their grudges against him. And how badly they want their revenge. Because I'm pretty sure Vulcan and um, V and C, uh, S... Well, I, I've been saying their names. I'm just going to say it's Vulcan and uh, Scarlet. They both are probably of the same mindset. That if they'll, they'll die trying to get, get his head. Oh, uh, that He was killed by a real top Jaeger corpse hired by your friend, the Blood and Iron Chancellor. I wonder which Jaeger corpse he hired. Who did he have hired here? Could this have been Red Constellation or is there some other? Because top rated Jaeger Corps only two come into mind, right? Zephyr and the Red Constellation. There's not that many more. Not even a little bit. <laughs> What is going through Sarah's mind? How does she know of that dude? Sarah in Cold Steel 1, man. Cold Steel 1 and Cold Steel 2. She is she doesn't like she doesn't suck in 3 and 4, but it's just like she doesn't level up on pace with any of the like uh, like Reen, Laura and them. So she feels weaker, but in these two games, to her perception, you can really feel how strong she is. Like, you can really get a sense of an A-rank Bracer, the Purple Lightning. I've been found out. <laughs> Ten minutes, that's more than enough time. We don't need more than ten minutes to take you down. Dude, she even sends this as well. Crazy. Her instincts, man. Her instincts are on a whole different level right now. 
And they're a different color of the previous Archaisms, even though they look similar. For borrowed muscle? Yeah, they are definitely working in tandem with Ouroboros. It's more than been confirmed. Currently. Yeah, I already, I already been saying these names. Oh well, Scarlet and Vulcan. <laughs> S and V. Bar to take him down, bar to take her down, bar to clap her cheeks. Okay, quite literally and figuratively. Let's do this. Let's rock. Let's rock. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Now I'm going to go motivate. Then with Sarah, I am going to go. I'm actually going to go with lightning charge. I'm definitely going to set up crescent shell. Absolutely. Defense and resist. What is she about to do here? Arts? Look at that read. Look at that read. You miss. You miss. Although I did cover, so it didn't even matter. Okay, now, here's the question right now. What do I do with Laura here? Do I wait for a crit turn, or do I just attack? I'm actually going to just impassion. I'm just going to set up impassion. Really? It's like that, huh? If by the time I get all the way down through the Laura and there's no crit turns visual on the left-hand corner, on the left-hand column, I'm just going to go ahead and use her. I'm going this way. Yeah, Rain. Rain with the dodge again. Bruh. I don't think Emma should take a lot of damage from arts, right? She should have good art defense. Dude, we are not doing any damage, bro. What is our art? No art weakness? No art weakness? Great. Feels good. Feels good. Let's see if any of them can be frozen. Sure. Now, Emma, how much damage? Emma, what is that? You're, you're done. I thought you can take that hit. You're supposed to be a Majo. Well, I'm going to do S craft now. I, I have no other choice. Oh, I had a. I just peeped that crit turn. I just peeped the crit turn. But I didn't, I didn't want to waste another turn for her. It would just seem like a waste. You know what I mean? That's not a lot of damage. Holy Jesus. That is 40k. Dude, Laura, chill. Calm down. I know you're upset, but damn, girl. Oh, wrong person. Wrong person. I meant to use it on freaking Emma, man, just in case she fainted. I didn't want to lose that 200 CP. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. This is a waste right here. I just I just threw away Sarah's turn. I just threw it away. In all honesty. Come on, Sarah. Give me that sexy cut in. How much damage are we talking about? Dude. What is her faint rate? Oh, it's 100. Really? Nani? Yeah, absolutely. Give me those. Full rush. Oh, it's over. It's GG's. Mainly because of Laura's domination courts. Dude, if we had domination this entire time, we would have been rolling through this game. For sure. I'll go Flare Bomb here. Or should I go... No, actually... I'm gonna do this instead. Let me switch to Laura. Hopefully this will combo. Perfect. It did. Now, Reen. My boy. She can be guaranteed burn. Guaranteed burn. How much health? 26k. Yeah, he's not doing 26k. Even though it's 200 CP, he's a crit. I should have used Motivate at some point. He doesn't have the full strength buff. Dang it, bro. Yeah, there's no way he's gonna finish. 
我が剣に集え集えハマスダメージハマスダメージ we're talking about here 14 We don't need to see Emma's. Easy, easy, easy. Dude, give, give me a challenge. Give me a challenge. I'm just murking everything. I'm botting everybody. Can you give me a challenge here? I took on the Dark Dragon Skull one try. I took on. Although that icy dragon did take multiple tries, I took on Nosferatu one try, and now Scarlet one try. Give me a challenge, man. Give me a challenge. I'm just too good, fam. I'm just too good. I got all the skills. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh yeah. You shouldn't have underestimated us. You shouldn't have underestimated Thor's Skanga Queen, Nankami. All right, Thor's Military Academy, Class Seven, along with the Purple Lightning, A Rank Bracer. Y'all underestimated us, you clowns, you fools. Probably on the other group, I'm pretty sure Nihard carried. Although Koro is kind of strong, but overall that squad is weak. Th thank, thank goodness. See, you're ready. <laughs> yeah, cause look at this, Elliot, Machius, and my baby girl in one team. Like that is not good. That's way too much um non-damaged characters. <laughs> Alright, where is he? Where he at? Is he not going to save his comrades as Nakama? He already lost comrade G. Alright, where is he? My, my. You can hardly call our crossing paths coincidence at this point. And is it a coincidence that we came to the Gorilla Fortress at the same time of the trade conference and the same time that they may be planning to come here to get the railway guns, access to the railway guns? I don't know, right? Because remember, even though Carl Regnus in the previous chapter said he wants them to like live their life as students and all that, not all that other stuff. And he's not necessarily a bad guy. Who knows what those people on the board of directors of Thor, certain individuals, want out of this group. So while it may not be, maybe a stretch to say that there's a correlation, I definitely don't think it's a pure coincidence. <laughs> Everything played out. Just like C said it would. Both here and in Crossbell. Really now? C knew, huh? C knew that Mask Command created all this planning knowing it was going to fail. I wonder why and what, what the goal is right here. What are you talking about? That makes no sense. C Comrade S. Stubborn. Stubborn. Like a certain other couple of groups. It's because you're, you're naive students. You should have just cut their limbs off. <laughs> I'm totally just kidding, by the way. I'm not that savage. え? <laughs> Nani? Look at her. And right on cue. Is this C right here? Did he finally come to save his Nakama? Dude, I love their themes so much, man. Their themes and then the X Seed original soundtrack are some of the finest of Cold Steel um, songs. Cold Steel 1. Damn.
There, Barrett goes. My name is C. The leader of the Imperial Liberation Front. Allow me to extend my congratulations. You did well fending off our two pronged trap card, both here and in Crossbell. But nothing is over. Nothing is over yet. You would be foolish to think this is the end of us. The hammer of judgment shall fall again. Please give me an amusing time. Let me have some fun. Because I'm ready. Are you? Thor's military academy, class 7, Reen, Schwarzer, and crew. Are y'all ready for what's about to happen in the next chapter? Because I am. And I'm. please show me a fun time. So this is the Imperial Liberation Front. They're even more brazen than I heard. And remember, these two are out of the picture because of their distraction with the Aston Tens. They had everything planned out. And according to C, it all went according to his plan. He wanted them to fail for whatever possible reason. Or he knew they would fail. Probably setting up for another plot, another chess move in the new future for the sole purpose of taking down the king? I don't know. Apparently, apparently she showed up. What's he hiding? Yeah? Yeah, they're drawing a blank, huh? I thought you all were supposed to be good. Eight poison. So that they won't give away any information. Crazy. That's how you know they're serious about this. They're for real serious. Is this poison? Our information, our intel. Out the window. Where did Sarah pull this out from? Are you telling me her lab code is a lab scientist code and she just has a bunch of syringes just attached to it? She could just pull out and inject into somebody? Like, what is she doing with this? I still don't understand how she got that. Like, what is she, what was she, she predicted that someone was going to use poison on this um, field trip? So she brought it with her? Are you kidding me? All for the fuck a shoe, man. Fuck a shoe. It's all about revenge. Dude, we easily went through that. おれたち七組は今まで培った全てを振り絞って恐るべき手を何とか食い止めただがクロスベルデの騒ぎの裏で起きたこの事件は対外的な問題から公式に発表されることはなく俺たちは祖国エレボニアがすでに深刻な局面
We got through all that pain at the whole schoolhouse, and then we went to the league room for the first part of this field trip, and we had a bunch of events, meaningful events happen too, right? We had Reen encountered with Laura's father. We met the bike count Arsade, the Radiant Blaze Master, the Hikari no Kenshi, and uh, that's major, right? Because he's going to play a vital role going forward. We got to meet Tova and actually get an introduction, and we got to work, see some got some insight as to the situation with the Bracer Guild in Erebonia specifically, and why like possible reasons why it may be closing down. And then um, Reen and Viscount dueled. We got to see his power one more time, and then he had his whole character development, which we got to see over at the fortress a little bit. How he rounded up the group, some of the things he was saying, as far as like using power, the lessons he learned from the Viscount. So he's making progress there. He's developing. We fired our first encounter with a cursed spirit, Nosferatu. That's definitely going to play a role in the near future. And then we saw the ghost of Leanne Sandlot. What was she? Why was the ghost doing over by the castle, saving us? Who knows, right? And then uh, we went over to Gorilla Forces, where a bunch, they finally saw a real military base. One of the largest, or the largest, I believe, in Erebonia. They got to see a live demonstration with actual ammunition and see what it's like, pretend, what it would theoretically be like to be in a war. You know what I'm saying? And uh, then the Imperial Liberation Front played their trap card, the two-pronged attack. And so we were able to combat it. We were able to stop their trap card with the anti-trap spell card. We were able to stop them, clap them up, hinder their plans for the immediate future. See, the master man, the leader of the Imperial Liberation Front, planned it for it to end this way. So uh, that's interesting. Anyways, that's the end of this chapter. We are moving into chapter 6, which I believe if I remember correctly, is the final field study before the finale. So we are nearing the end of this game. Kind of. Kind of, not really. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Have a great, great day, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.